Hi everyone, it's Mathieu from Mergeify. We are here today to speak about the Merge Queue. So on today's menu, we will see what's a Merge Queue, obviously, and why you should use it. To do so, we will highlight a very common problematic situation that can be solved with a Merge Queue. Finally, and after seeing how it works, we will look at some of the particularities of ours. Let's get started. So, what do we mean by Merge Queue? In fact, it's quite simple. Basically, a Merge Queue is a queue full of pull requests waiting to be tested, updated if needed, and then merged. The pull requests are created by the developers and then the maintainers will add them to the queue. But they won't add all the pull requests on the queue. All the pull requests present in the queue passed the checks and are approved by the maintainers. With that being said, let's see why you should use it. In fact, a merge queue is very useful for one of the most common problems, uh, merging outdated pull requests. Let's set the scene and imagine the following situation. The main branch passes its continuous integration testing correctly, and a pull request is created which also passes the CI. Um, at this time, the shame uh, you can see represents the state of uh, your repository. As I said, that's a common situation that just about every developer has experienced. But there is a twist. And here it is. A new commit is pushed to the main branch. As a result, the main branch has been modified. Meanwhile, our pull request is still marked as valid because nothing changed on its side. Moreover, there is no code conflict, so the merge button turns green. It seems that the twist was not really a twist, but you would be wrong. Here is what happens when uh, you click on the merge uh, button. Your CI tests fail. What a bad surprise. To explain that, you have to remember that the CI did not test the pull request with the last, ver uh, last version of the code. So the pull request doesn't have the correct code to pass the test now. And now you have to rebase and make the pull request up to date. Facing this situation, you have few solutions. First, you can only run your CI on the head of your feature branch, but there is a big drawback here. Your feature branch might be or not compatible with the main branch. The second solution you can uh, choose is to uh, require all feature branches to be up to date with the target. But this way to solve the, the issue will make you waste, waste a lot of time and money. So, what about a merge queue? You will see that it's the most efficient way to solve uh, this problem, and by far. Indeed, a merge queue updates each outdated pull request uh, before being merged. To do so, the merge queue automatically merges the main branch into the feature branch, so it has the last version of the code. Then, if the CI test pass, it will be merged. Simple. Isn't it? But what would happen if there are multiple pull requests? The merge queue will schedule their merging sequentially while making sure to update each PR. However, you can encounter the following situation. You merge uh, an updated pull request and then you get another one which is still outdated. So how to handle it? The merge queue will repeat the same process, in fact. Once the first PR is merged, the merge queue merges the brand new tip of the main branch into the feature branch, and you repeat it as many times as needed. It's that simple. So, so let's summarize how a merge queue works. First, you run the engine on your pull request and all the valid ones can be added to the queue. Then, the merge queue will make sure that each PR in the queue is up to date by merging the main branch into the feature branch and the CI then will run to make sure that the PR is mergeable. Finally, you'll have two quite distinct cases. First, all the checks 
passed, so the pull request is merged by the merge queue. But if your test fail, the pull request will be removed um, from the merge queue. In concrete terms, uh, Mergeify's merge queue does everything you just heard, uh, but it also comes with great features. Let's have a quick look at them. Um, first, the speculative checks enable you to test different uh, pull requests in parallel so they can be merged faster. The batches uh, allow checking the mergeability of multiple pull requests at once. With the multiple queues, you can create different queues and prioritize some pull requests. The queue freeze will allow you to freeze the merge of one or several queues simultaneously to provide uh, maximum control and flexibility on how and when you want uh, the code to be merged. Uh, and finally, with uh, our priority management, you choose which PR should be merged first, depending on your own rules. So, uh, I guess it's quite interesting, isn't it? I also guess that we reach the end of this uh, video. I hope it was uh, useful and that you now understand uh, better the interest of using a merge queue. If so, uh, please uh, feel free to like, comment and share this video. We would love uh, to hear from you. Uh, if you don't want to miss other videos of this type, you can also subscribe to the Mergeify channel, of course. And uh, on that note, I see you on uh, a new video on the Mergeify channel. And uh, on this word, I say you Mergeify bye. -bye.